What's going on everyone? It's always a great day to play a roguelike game. So today we're trying out a new one. This one is called Comet Force and it is brought to us by Radiant Sloth, a game developer that we've featured on the channel before with their game uh, Destroy the Monoliths. That was a while ago and they have a new arena shooter action roguelike here where you will use your upgrades to your base as your way to gather more power or upgrade the ship so that you can destroy more of the baddies in a better way. So let's see how it all works today. I'm very, very excited to take a look at this one. And yeah, let's jump in. Comet Force, here we go. Jump into a new game. We have two captains that are available right now. Emmy is a beginner type of character, I assume. And so we will start with her. Not going to read into it too much until we understand a little bit more about the game. All right, it's generated. A new threat has awakened. I think there's a little bit of a, uh, a typo, the, typo there. A hyperspace anomaly spawning hostile foes has been discovered in the galaxy. The Federation has tasked you to lead the Comet Force an elite unit dedicated to fighting the threat. Your mission is to construct your camp around the anomaly, grow your troops, I think it's missing an S there, improve your gear and eliminate each and every enemy wave. You must survive at all costs, another S missing there, to keep the Comet Force alive and ensure the safety of humankind. Good luck. Okay, so we're gonna go move, aim, shoot, dash, Accept, cancel. I think that's simple enough. And here we go, they're spawning in. Is that the spawn in? Oh wait, that's my spawn in. Okay, let's start the enemy wave one, I, I think. Oh wait, the, here's our camp. So a building site where we can spend some cash to build. Increases the amount of headcount of the troops, missing an S by one, upgradable. Huh, do I want that? Or do I want a training center, improve the stats of the captain and the classes, allows to heal the captain and troop members. That sounds important. Research lab will allow to research new technologies. Okay. I believe that we start with an academy. Is that right? Command center, academy is already here and another build site. So we can give a special effect to the captain or class of the troop. So we can upgrade our captain. Starts with the academy. Uh, what specialization am I committing to if I buy this? I'm not sure. Shooter. I mean, that's our ship. Maybe I should just do that. Oh, you get to choose. Laser bullets travel faster. Laser bullets can pierce and hit up to two more times. That sounds really good. Laser bullets burst into three more bullets when killing an enemy. I don't know how fast we kill yet. The pierce sounds good. I'm gonna choose that. And I'm gonna build a healer just to be extremely safe. A medical station, hit me up with that. So we're all geared up for the first, for the first wave here. Oh, they're spawned in. We got little boys over here. Oh, don't take that out of context. <laughs> we got little ships over here is what I should have said. Little pea shooter ships. They have a lot of HP, don't they? I'm glad I didn't take the, the split bullet on kill thing because it takes a long time to kill them. The pierce is nice. Yeah, hitting only one at a time would have taken forever, I think. All right, we're getting some of that sweet, sweet building power, resources, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so now we have 10 again. Not quite enough to build too many things. Yeah, we can't upgrade our our captain ability. What can I build with 10? We can do small troop quarters. Don't know what it means with the headcount, to be honest with you, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Should I just buy it? Let's buy it for the sake of understanding what it is. Increases the maximum headcount. Right. So we can't, can we upgrade it? How much does it cost to upgrade? 
Residential care increases the maximum headcount by, by one. After each rave, fully heals the most damaged members of the troop. Increases the maximum headcount once per wave. Prevents troop members from dying and fully healing them. A troop member. So do I have like a an assistant ship now? Let's see. Oh, there's a, like an auto dodge before they spawn in or something like that. It's very interesting. I don't see the troops. Maybe I have to get enough resources to upgrade my captain before that happens or something like that. I am not quite sure yet. But hey, more bullets right now would really, really hit hard. That would do really well for me, I think. I I want more firepower, for sure. We are getting more resources this time, but still not quite enough to upgrade our captain. For some reason, I feel like our captain upgrade will give me more people. Hopefully I'm right about that. Improve the stats. We already have a training set. Wait, do we have a training center or academy? Academy. Training center is different. Allows to improve the sets of captain and classes. Allows to research new technologies. I wonder if I need a training center for new troops? Either way, it costs more than what I have. Oh, there are bigger enemies now. Let's see how this turns out. Thank God for the pierce. Back up. Back up, dudes. Back the F up. They aren't so tough yet, but hey, I'm also not that tough of an opponent to them. Nice. Give me more money. Kill that little guy right there. I can't get him. There he is. There's another. Now we basically all got big ones except for this little guy that survived somehow. I didn't mean to kill all the small ones first, it's just the way it happened. Please drop tons more money. Ah, they are dropping more money, but not a significant amount. I guess from two to three is actually a significant amount, so never mind. I feel like this has to be a turning point for my power. I don't want to do this amount of strength for the next wave, I don't think. I, need th I think I need a lot more. I haven't got hit yet, though. Academy, okay. Let's see what kind of specialization we can give to our captain then. Gain some resistance to knockback. Being hit generates a space mine. Interesting. Troop members drop a powerful space mine upon dying. I don't like any of these, really. Being hit gives us a space mine might be the best for me. It's unfortunately... What does space do? Oh, it, it, it scrolls through the uh, the upgrades. Now, I, I can't buy too much. Wait, yes, I can. Maybe I do training center to see what's up? Oh, this gives us stats. I see. So the academy gives us... Honestly, the academy seems like the research lab in a sense. Maybe it's probably different, but that one gives us stat upgrades. How do I get more troops? Oh, command center. Oh, that makes so much sense. Ugh, what is wrong with me? Um, right, so I did not need to upgrade the amount of troops that I can hold. I didn't even use one charge of it yet. And we got these guys doing double shots. Oh, they're faster. There's a space mine. It is on a timer. It is not, well, it might be upon impact, but it has a very short lifespan, let's just say that much. Now, when does my healing center heal me? Because depending on that, I might just get hit on purpose. When am I going to get healed from the healing thing? What the heck? Do I have to press something? Oh! I'm pressing all sorts of crazy stuff. Oh crap, that was my bad. The mine did help, however. Shift? Nope, I'm, I'm not sure. Wait, right click? Nope. I guess it's supposed to happen automatically, but uh, my guess is that I need to upgrade the healing structure before it actually does anything, maybe? 
We shall see. We're gonna have lots of money to play around with, hopefully. We're definitely getting a troop. Maybe even two, depending on how much it costs. There you go. Alright, let's go over here. Medical station. Do you win? Oh, I see. It's, it's a purchase after the wave. If I knew it worked that way, maybe I wouldn't have bought it so early, but... You can't really deconstruct anyways, so yeah. I I'm still learning, I'm still learning. Laser bullets can pierce, right. So they can pierce as well. They all only cost 10 from the looks of it. I'm buying two of those bad boys for sure. And then, you know, you know what? I might go for an academy again. Yeah, probably a shooter academy. I might as well at that point buy as many as I can of these guys. Let's see how it works. We got a crew now. We got a crew. They they will take damage. Yeah, the getting crew right away is definitely the way to go. <laughs> Should have thought of that. Pop them. Pop them, baby. Oh yeah, this is way better. Feeling so much better about myself here. Poppy, pop him. Yeah, we, we totally overwhelmed them that time. Sweet, oh, what the hell? A boss is coming. This is it. So wait a minute, I'm, I'm assuming what will happen actually, since the allies are so cheap, why is he going outside? Since the allies are so cheap, maybe they do not, they do not come back. You, you have to make sure that you're healing them appropriately so spending 10 on a heal is better than 10 spending 10 on a new uh ship perhaps because it heals myself and it heals all of the allies at the same time maybe we'll s have to see how that works i'm definitely taking damage they're definitely taking damage especially that one on the uh right hand side he might actually die this time why aren't you guys shooting range issue Shoot him, please. I don't want to die here. Please, no. Please, no. Oh, God. I I would rather have one of my allies die than myself, of course. He's dead. One member was destroyed. Okay. Why aren't they shooting? <laughs> and I died. <laughs> okay, let me restart the game. We're going to go in as Emmy again. We have more knowledge this time, so... Uh, yeah, we, we know, we kind of know what we're doing. Kind of know what we're doing. New threat has awakened. Yes, yes, yes. I wonder if three troops is enough because I'm very interested in seeing what the heck the research lab is. But maybe we can go without the training center and we upgrade just by having new technology, new stuff from the academy. Or maybe three troops is enough. I'm not sure yet. So let's go ahead and recruit already because I know I want them. And we're just gonna jump in like that. Let's go, boys. Oh yeah, I, I missed the pierce already. I missed the pierce a lot already. Although obviously with two additional troops, we are still more powerful than we were the last time. How much does it cost to research here? Captain with the buffs, I wasn't super impressed with, but maybe the ones after are better. 10 bucks is definitely worth it. Um, we're gonna take the Pierce again. We're basically doing the same run as last time, but with more knowledge. A little bit more knowledge on what I should pick, hopefully. But yeah, dodging with the assistance in mind is a little bit different for these uh, kind of like space arena shooters. Because usually you have like your drones or your, your allies and they don't take damage, right? They just persist. At least um, that's my experience at least. And so it is a little bit tougher with all of these allies following you to try to keep them alive. So I'm wondering if three is enough because having four floating around, 
I just see that being as a as something that would create an issue with keeping them all alive. But hey, I could be wrong. I'm gonna keep with three for now at least and spend more cash on research. 32. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go and commit to a research lab because I'm wondering what kind of technologies we're gonna see here. Research a new class to recruit. Oh, we can recruit a new class. Interesting. A new class? Or the class of a troop shooter. Okay. I see. So I'm already putting money into the laser troop. Maybe that wasn't the right choice for us. Because uh, that makes me feel like I've wasted money on upgrading our, our laser troop. But uh, I'm, I'm going to take a look at it anyways. Once we have enough money, I'm, I'm going to take a look at the new classes. It seems like I might have to lose a troop before recruiting a new troop of a new class. Or I can expand my capacity, of course. Research lab. Alright, let's, let's try it out. Oh, there's multiple. So we have a gunner. Spins and shoots laser bullets all around. We have a saboteur, gets close to enemies and attacks with an explosion. Interesting. Um, shoots rockets with area of damage. Cannoneer. So cannoneer is what the other character is. Saboteur seems interesting, but I just feel like he's going to die really quickly. And gunner is a sprayer, I guess. I want to see what the saboteur is. And if I go over here... We can recruit it for 20 resources. Wow, that's going to cost a lot because we're going to have to build a building or lose a troop before we can do that. I feel like I'd rather... Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Would I rather lose a troop? It happened really quickly with the boss, but it's not happening here. We'll see what the resources look like. If I have enough money to... Build the additional, build the additional uh, recruitment, and also get the new troop. I might do that, but this guy might just kill them. Who knows? Shoot him, please. I can't lose to this guy again. No, come back in. Come back in. We need to get him to stay close enough so that my dudes are shooting him as well. But it's not. It's not really happening. They have a lot less range than I do. It's uh, kind of working. It's right now. It's neck and neck. Ooh, man, the saboteur maybe have been would have been good for this guy because he. I'm guessing the saboteur would have chased this guy instead of waiting behind me. But who knows? It just sounds like he works that way. Come over here, bro. Please. I beg of you. He's off the screen, but I, I know where he's at. We're just gonna shoot in his direction and hope some bullets land. He's dead. He's dead. And there we go. Oops. Don't want to go in there. We definitely have enough money for another troop and the building of uh, troop quarters. We get a saboteur. Do we upgrade the saboteur as well? It only costs 10. Let's see it. Explosions launch a space mine when hitting at least one enemy. That sounds really good. Explosions repeat their damage power halved once further in the same direction. Hmm. Immediately moves back after firing an explosion. This is for like sustainability. This is this is less predictable damage, but it's a damage upgrade. This is a damage upgrade that's less, or, or with, that is more predictable, I guess, because it's in the way it's shooting. I'm going to take the wild choice here, and let's see how that looks like in a wave. Yeah, research lab, I'm, I'm not sure about. Unless you really hate the laser troops, you should start with the research lab and just like kind of commit to a class perhaps that's the way that I would probably play the game 
but, um, you know, we're trying out some new things here. Let's see how it goes. We have some new triangle enemies. Our saboteur is just right in there, dude. He is right in there. Holy crap. I'm not shooting myself. I was... I was sitting here just marveling at the the new stuff that we were seeing. Oh my god, I just realized how dead we are. One member of the troop has died. One of our laser dudes has died. F? It seems like the laser troops have a really low amount of health. Or maybe he just got pummeled. I don't know. But our saboteur has been in there not dying. <laughs> but he flanks them. He goes behind them. So that's, that's a, a good thing because that means... If I have the enemies facing away from him, which is usually the case, he won't get hit as much. But damn, he is quite slow. Alright, here's the thing. I have to choose whether to build a healing station or something else. Wait a minute. Let me upgrade the, the troop quarters. Let's upgrade this because I remember there being a pretty good one. I don't think I need to increase the max again. After each wave fully heals the three most damaged members of the troop. Oh. If I keep myself alive, I could replace the healing thing with this, but that's that's a hard one to say. I wonder if enemies can drop small healing orbs or something too. Increase the maximum headcount, right? Once per wave prevents a troop member from dying by fully healing them. After each wave fully heals the three most damaged members. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade to this. That sounds really good. And I'm going to further upgrade. Let's upgrade the captain. Gain some resistance knockback. On dash point reloads instantly when damaged. One dash point reloads instantly when damaged, right? Heals five more health per po health points for the same price. These are different. Um, we're, I don't know if I'm going with the healing thing yet. I'm gonna get the dash point, I guess, and I might do another specialization to see what happens. Ah, crap. Troop members drop 20% of the recruit cost upon dying. Interesting. When hit, half the damage is sifted to the first troop member. They do heal, so I'm gonna take that. So, yeah, we rolled maybe not the best ones. What else can I buy here? Another troop, right? We do need another troop. I like the saboteur, actually. <laughs> so let's, uh... Yeah, I think the saboteur stays alive more. And I might keep one laser guy just because we've started upgrading them already. And also, if they stay right behind me, I think they can avoid damage that way. I'm still unsure what our, our last building should be because I'm scared of taking too much damage, of course. I don't know if we can heal any other way except for the healing center. But I mean, I, I, I just want to get as powerful as possible. I think that's a more fun choice. So the, uh, the training center sounds really, really fun to me. And if I could have more speed, I feel like I wouldn't get hurt. Is that it? Kill him, bro. And they're all fully healed. Look at that. We're gonna buy another saboteur for sure. Buy the bought the saboteur. Upgrade again the saboteur, perhaps. Inflict stronger knockback. Repeat with their damage again. Becomes fully resistant to knockback from enemy weapons. No, I'm gonna do the damage choice here that we saw last time. So we have a repeated explosion. I'm going for it, guys. I'm going to go for the training center here. Maybe not the smartest thing to do. If we train, I guess we get to choose what we upgrade. Health? Reload or the attack? I'm going to take the reload for you because you are so slow. If I could take a movement buff. Dash points. Dash reload speed. Targeting range of troop members. Interesting. Movement speed. I'm going to train you. And I would love a movement speed. That's movement speed, right? Dash points could also be considered, you know, movement or mobility. 
15% or dash points, huh? Since I have the recovery for dash points on hit, maybe I'll just take the dash speed here. Or the movement speed. Mm. Slight regret? <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I have slight regret? Now here's the thing, the captain starts as a laser troop. So it's kind of two birds, one stone if we commit to laser because any upgrades to the laser class would be applied to my troops of the laser class and also myself having a ship of the laser class. But the saboteur, it's so good. I, I don't know if there is a captain that you unlock that is a saboteur or not. But um, yeah, the saboteur, just the way that they interact with the enemies, I, I feel like it, it's the best class so far. They stay close to them, they stay out of the, the range of bullets, if they're shooting forward at least, and they do a, a bunch of explosions. I mean, super happy with them so far. Um, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. Command center we don't need. Everyone's still alive. More saboteur. Let's do another specialization. Immediately moves back after firing an explosion. Becomes fully resistant. Yeah, I don't I don't like these. I wonder if we've seen all the upgrades. I'm gonna do the immediately moves back after firing an explosion. It's max. Okay, so we have seen all of them. You can have three out of uh, I guess five upgrades. I don't have enough for your specialization. I'm gonna upgrade again. And we're gonna upgrade the saboteur yet again. More reload speed? I think if they shoot faster, that's good enough for me. The attack damage, I don't know if it applies to everything that they do, because they do a mine. I uh, definitely would apply it to the secondary explosion. It probably does, actually, doesn't it? You know what? I'm gonna take a, a damage upgrade, because we have so many um, attack-type upgrades on the saboteur. So any kind of reload speed or attack damage, that type of upgrade, upgrade for the saboteur, I think works really, really well. I'm watching the health of my allies just to see if we're in any sort of trouble for that front. I don't think we are. The laser guys are, are taking some damage. I'm taking some damage now. Honestly, I... I wonder if I can unrecruit or get rid of one of my laser guys. Because I would rather have a third saboteur, like I was saying before. But it ain't happening. It ain't happening so far. Get these little pizza dudes out of here. There we go. Oh crap! Residential care offered some healing. To who? My drones, perhaps? Yeah, I, I didn't see any of that healing. This guy is getting destroyed by my saboteurs, I think. Yo, shoot him. Shoot him, boys. Maybe I should have upgraded the range of my drones. What the heck? Holy crap, so many bullets. Yo, kill one of my laser dudes. Oof. Look at all of them poop out all the mines. Oh, crap. Yes, poop out more mines. You can do it. You can do it. And that is the second boss dead. Oh, wait a minute. So I, I think the... I think the upgraded residential care here, yes. Uh, it offered healing after the enemy wave and then the boss counted as a different wave. Can we upgrade this again? We can't. Oh, that's too bad. Um, can I hire another saboteur? Like, will it re let me replace one of my laser dudes. Let's see. It took the money. Oh, I can have up to five. Ah, so upgrading to residential care gave us yet another one. I didn't realize that. I thought it was keeping the upgrade at like plus one on top of your original and then this additional effect. But it was actually giving us another on top of the first upgrade uh, and, and the additional effect. I see. So can I replace yet another laser dude? I can't. Okay. I will wait until one dies then. No problem. Um, 
we can upgrade our training center. What is the max? I'm going to upgrade our captain again. Is this shot speed? I can't remember. This is target range. This is... It doesn't say. Oh, movement. That's movement speed. What did I upgrade last time? Dash reload speed. I see. Okay, I'm going to take a movement speed again. Upgrade me. Movement speed, dash reload, or dash points. I'm going to do movement speed again. I'm at max at four. Okay, interesting. So we're at level three already. We're going to max you out at level four. And I'm going to do a... Maybe a reload duration this time. And now we can upgrade just our laser boys, I guess. So maybe... You know what? I don't know how many waves there are. I'm moving so fast now, by the way. It's awesome. And it seems like my... Uh, at least my laser drones move the fat just as fast as I do, which is awesome. Um, yeah, what I was saying is I don't know how many waves there are, but based on how fast we max out everything, maybe it is a good idea to diversify the classes because I'm going to have a ton of money that I can't do anything with if I were to just do laser class. So yeah, well, I, I think that I can max out like everything, even with another class that we have uh, recruited onto our whole toolkit here using the research lab. Okay, so let's go to the academy. You're already maxed out, let's max you out. Troop members drop a powerful space mine upon dying. That doesn't happen very much. Heal five more health points for the same price, I don't know. Automatically tries to dash to avoid impending damage, but the dash reload speed is halved. Ooh. Like, I don't really need these two, but I don't like the dash thing being halved. Ugh, I guess the powerful space mine. That kind of sucks. All right, let's specialize you since you... I don't have anything else to train. Laser bullets travel faster. Laser bullets travel back and forth. Interesting. Does this have the the um, distance at all? I hope it doesn't. Let's specialize you again. Burst when killing an enemy. Laser bullets bounce on their last hit. Oh, that's amazing. Gain 50% more damage for their back trip. That's also interesting. I like the bounce though. Okay, you're maxed out. And we can do some further training for you over here. Reload speed, max health, or attack damage. Reload speed, please. And we're into the next one here. Alright, laser drones are going to be way more powerful. It seems like it did half... Yeah, I, I think our, um, our range is halved here. Maybe some bullet speed would have allowed it to travel further. So this kind of sucks, to be honest with you. And we're not going to see the bounce unless we hit him up with the max pierce. So we have, like, some synergetic things, but it's situational, you know what I mean? We're not going to see that bounce unless we get that third hit on the pierce, but at the same time, our range is shortened because of the boomerang, so we probably won't see all them hits unless it's a bunch of clusters of enemies. Um, kind of sucks. I am dying. I am very almost dead. But I'm gonna go to the training center and yeah. Ah, reload speed versus health. Hmm. Attack damage. Let's do attack damage this time. And this is the last one. Let's do reload speed for the last one. Yeah, we're shooting faster. I mean, we could spend more money on researching, I guess? Let's see if there's anything we haven't seen. Crusher charges and inflicts contact damage. Okay, I'll research it. <laughs> Not that I can recruit one or anything, but I'll, I'll try it out if maybe one of the laser guys die. Which is not, oops. Which is probably not gonna happen because one of the cannoneers is more, more so dead. 
Oh man, it, it is getting crazy in here. Wait, how did I get outside? Seven health is not good. Seven health is definitely not good. Oh my god. Please stop. Oof. Die. Please get him, guys. Oof. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the academy for the crusher, although we don't have them. But at least we get to take a peek into what they could possibly do if we were to hire one. Launches a space mine in the back at the end of a sonic charge. Sonic charge gains 15% atta extra attack damage for each enemy hit in a row. Resists 15% of damage when hit. Interesting. I mean, the space mine sounds great. Extra attack damage for each enemy hit in a row. I'm going to take the space... Uh, or the, yeah, the, the mine at the dash. Sonic charges go back and forth. Now, once again... I'm wondering if that makes it shorter. I really can't tell since I, I can't test it. More damage for each enemy hit in a row. Now going back and forth with this sounds good, even with the boomerang, because if they're targeting one enemy, that would do like additional damage to that same enemy. But I'm gonna take that first. Go back and forth. Strong knockback. Last 50% longer, that sounds really good. And he's maxed out. Okay. So we didn't take the boomerang, but whatever. Uh, I guess we will train him up as well. Might as well. Um, let's do a attack damage. We'll do a reload. We'll do a reload. And he's maxed out. Okay, cool. 20 waves, maybe? 20 waves is very common. Oh, 2 health, though. 2 health is not making me very confident. It doesn't seem like we can heal any other way except the healing center. And so, yeah, you, you probably know how I feel right now. This is a lot of pressure. Oof, that was close. Oh my god. The huge thing is the boss fights. Uh, they, they've been simple as long as you understand the pattern. So eventually they are quite uh, easy to understand, but you just have to get the knowledge first and I don't have that knowledge yet. So, oh, here we go. Speaking of bosses, oh my God. Yeah, get them, get them saboteur. I'm just gonna leave it up to the saboteurs, honestly. We're going turtle mode. Oof, that was so close. I will try to shoot him. Oh my god, ran into that bullet. F, F, F. Okay, folks. Well, I think that is going to be our first look at Comet Force. Comet Force here. Yeah, they got some cool stuff going on for sure. Um, the, the choices that you make based... Sorry, the, the, the choices you make for your base are very important. And that is something that I would say is, uh, you know, kind of unique for this game. And it adds uh, some interesting strategy that you must have before you jump in to a run. So instead of having everything available to you, as long as you have the resources, you have to choose the type of things that you can upgrade, which is, um, which adds some interest to the game. So I think that there is some really cool stuff happening with that. Um, the variety that we're seeing so far, I, of course, this is our first look, so maybe I haven't unlocked it all yet, but I would like to see some more variety with the, um, with the weapons that you get per class. I, I think that it was a little low for the upgrades for the laser class, at least. I think we saw like a max of five. Uh, but at the same time, there I haven't even seen all the classes, so maybe that there is such a wide array of things that you can do based on the classes that I haven't seen yet, that it makes it would make sense that they they would they wouldn't put too many crazy things within one single class because they've spread it around other classes. But for now, I think it's 
quite fun. Let me know what you guys think about the game so far. Leave a comment down below. Leave a like if you're enjoying the content and don't forget to subscribe as well. I really appreciate it, guys. That's what we got for Comet Force for now. We'll be back with more soon.